Hey guys, going on an adventure today. As you can see, I'm at Goodwill. So we're gonna see what we can find. I'll take you with me. So if you're not familiar with Goodwill, they have different colored tags on their products. And then they every day they have a different color that's 50% off. Today it was green, so I'm gonna try to find some green. I really like that rooster plate. But at $6, I didn't think that I really wanted it. If I was going to keep it for myself, maybe, but I thought of reselling it. But mm, I thought $6 was a little much. I always like to look at the frames and see if I can find any really neat ones that I can redo. Then, of course, lamps. They had a lot of lamps and shades. Sometimes they don't have very many, but today they had quite a few. This tin section is always quite full. And sometimes I like to redo these tins as well. But I kind of like this one with the holes in it. You could put a candle in it, it would shine through, but I just couldn't bring myself to, to pick it up today. Now this tin was really cool too. I really like the galvanized. like this blue bowl. I thought it was really pretty with the snowflakes all over it. That would be nice to keep out even after Christmas. My mother likes blue so I'm always looking for blue things for her. They had a few mason jars there. I thought they were pretty cool. I really like this jar because it had the seal on the top but it had the fruit, the raised fruit on it and I'm not a real big fan of that. These mason jars were pretty cool. We still haven't found any green tags yet. No 50% off. I always like to look at baskets for storage ideas and to remake and redo to sell, but I don't know, some of them are pretty rough and they've already been used pretty, pretty hard. They had quite a few to select from though. the shape of this basket it was different and I was thinking well I probably could repaint it I really like it but they wanted six dollars for it mm, not sure if I'll spring for that This is like the crafty section. They had a lot of stamps. I used to do stamping. I used to have a lot of stamps. I sold them all because I really get tired of it. Did it for years. But some of these look pretty interesting.
this big roll of fringe is pretty cool. I was thinking of all the things that I could do with that. That's quite a big roll of it. Just a little tip, all these baskets that have little things in them, make sure you check those out too, because those are for sale. found this it's like a, a book stand the elephants stand up and hold the books on each end it was really beautifully carved that was a fun trip to Goodwill. I hope you enjoyed it. Did you see anything there that you liked and that I should have picked up? I didn't see a lot of stuff but there was a few things that I really liked that I picked up. Um, I just picked up a few things and uh, so I thought I'd share with you guys what I got. So first thing I got was this Rusty Star. It was three dollars. It's got a little pocket so it can have something put in there as a decoration or you can use it to put um, you know a little notepad and pen if you have a porch that's covered and you can hang it on there and you know people can write you little notes if you're not home or something or a nice little uh, bouquet or something could go in there so I really like that I thought it was cute most of these are going to be for a future um, projects that I'm going to do for you guys so I just want to let you know that except for this I did end up getting this basket. Um, I love the shape of this basket. These are great for the middle of a table. You could do a little vignette on them. Um, and you know, do a little setup there and have it right in the middle of your table. It's so cute. I have one, I don't know if you can see it, but I have one hanging on the wall up there. It's a little darker stain, but it's pretty fragile. Um, I use it out in the I used it last summer out in my garden bringing in vegetables, but the bottom is really getting, um, I don't know, it's kind of breaking, it's, br it's brittle. So, but I was so glad to find this. This was, um, let's say $6. So, well worth it. I mean, I can decorate with this. I can go take this out to the garden. The bottom is pretty sturdy, so I can bring, bring in some veggies with that. Um, so I was pretty excited to find that. This is the other thing that I got. 
This is a sifter. Not a real old, old sifter, but I mean, it's old enough. This was a dollar. It was a dollar. So um, this I'll probably put something, some kind of a flower arrangement in there or something and decorate it up. Um, you might not see it until uh, Christmas time. I'll do something around then maybe. Maybe something before if I find something. But um, So I got that too. I found this little wooden sign. It says welcome. Um, it was only a dollar and I just thought it was really cute. Um, and, you know, this would make a good sign to put on something, um, you know, a wreath on your door or something like that. I thought it would be really cute. So I got that and I'm terrible at, at writing. Um, so anytime I can find little signs like this that are already on the wood, already painted and done for a dollar, it's worth it to me. Here's a little jar. I think it's a six ounce, six ounce jar, Atlas Mason, it says on it. Really, really cute. Now this I could do like a little candle inside with a little ribbon wrapped around it and I think that would look really cute. Or um, uh, I could use one of my mason, I have mason jar tops, I could use one of my tops and put it on there and put it in the bathroom and have cotton balls in it or something for the bathroom in there. I thought that was cute, cute hair ties, something like that. Uh, and then there's this one as well. This one's got the little uh, chalkboard thing on it. Uh, and I was thinking the same thing. Either it can be put in a bathroom or it would be really cute to put in something that you set up to, um, you know, with a little candle or with flowers or something in it. And this was a dollar. I don't know if I told you what this one was. This was a dollar as well. I think the green tags were the ones were um, uh, half off today. So, and I don't know if I found any green tags today. I don't think I did. No, I think everything was pretty much red tags. Um, this one, the tag fell off, but this was only a dollar. This is a, like a picture stand or a, um, it would make a good, um, a cookbook stand, something like that. I thought that was really cool, so um, I decided I was gonna grab that because it will, it can be used for a lot of things. Pictures, uh, the charger plates, if you do a charger plate. Um, so I really like these, and I like the decorative iron looking ones that kind of scroll around. I think that looks really pretty. I got this little rooster, little brew rooster. This was a dollar. Uh, and I'm not going to keep him blue. I'll probably paint him white. I'll probably use some chalk paint, chalk paint him up white, and then maybe just dress it back and bring a little bit of blue back. I'm not sure, but um, he was just so cute. Look how cute he is. I had to do it. I love my chickens. All right, and the big ball jar it needs to be cleaned. It's got kind of like a film around the bottom here, like something was in there, but. I almost didn't grab this because it was three dollars um, and I thought that's not bad for three dollars and I don't have any this size. This would be good for your pantry to put you know stuff something that you want to um, you know stock up on and you don't want to leave it just in the bag. I'm trying to think is it like a thing a package of sugar or something like that you can pour it in here and of course you can always find the little tops for them almost always. <laughs> And uh, so I'm pretty sure I have some of those. So you could do that or you could um, clean it up and also, you know, you could put a candle in this and do something, do something with that too. Um, I just thought it was really cool. I don't have any this size, so I thought it'd be really cool. And that was $3. And this is the last thing that I got. This was $3. It's a little uh, wreath with the the different colored pink uh, little balls on it and I really like this for Valentine's Day. I don't normally decorate for Valentine's Day but I thought well for three dollars I think I can do it. It's already done. Look at that. I can hang that on. Welcome. All done. <laughs> so anyway I thought that stuff was cute and uh, for three dollars that wreath was pretty good. And 
for $4. I have a wreath with <laughs> a welcome sign on it. And uh, so anyway, I hope you enjoyed the thrift haul and uh, going through the thrift store with me and that was a lot of fun. I haven't been to the thrift store in a little bit, been trying to stay away from going to places like that, but every once in a while I just gotta get out and do it. And um, I thought it was fun and I hope you enjoyed it too. So thanks for joining me and we'll see you next time. Like, subscribe, share, and have a great day. Bye.